Yes, hi, I'm the owner of White Rabbit Kitchen, me and my wife, Tammy. Um, to make a long story short, we, because of the pandemic, I lost my uh, corporate culinary position. Um, and my wife, Tammy, and I were working through that summer of 2020 where I was basically home every day, cooking food at home and doing different things to kind of keep myself busy. Um, by the end of the summer, we had kind of saw the writing on the wall that this um, previous job wasn't going to come back anytime soon. So we kind of collectively said, you know what, let's do this and started doing deep dive research on getting a food truck business started. And it happened relatively quickly. Um, we ended up purchasing and having a food truck or trailer um, built from scratch and it was done at the uh, in November of 2020 and we kind of went off and running and worked through that winter and next thing you know here we are so kind of crazy happened pretty fast I never would have guessed that in the course of you know under two years we go from just starting a food truck to owning a restaurant so but it's been awesome we knew we wanted to smoke meats. Um, I come from a background of where I rotate the menus quite a bit, sometimes even on a daily basis. Of, that was just where uh, my culinary background was. So we knew we wanted to be flexible and do different things. We didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves to one cuisine or doing one thing. So, but I did want to do some smoked meats. Um, not barbecue per se, but just feature smoked meats in like an American bistro style menu. So sandwiches, soups, salads, green bowls, all that fun stuff. Um, and so the name White Rabbit comes from the fact when I was a kid and in scouts, um, the, the scout master would tell us when the smoke would get in our eyes, um, you know, close your eyes and say, I love white rabbits, I love white rabbits, and, and the smoke would go away. And so we kind of thought, well, it's kind of a fun little play on the smoke thing without necessarily calling it Rob's Barbecue or whatever, since we didn't want that um, stigma of being a barbecue restaurant. Great feedback from both. Um, I think the city was very excited to have us um, just obviously another option because they hear feedback from the community about wanting different resources, restaurants, places to go, different retail. So they were excited to have us open. Uh, and then also tons of just great feedback from the customers about just other options. We think we fill that void of kind of between we're like a bar grill or maybe like a fast food. We kind of touch a totally different dimension where people can come in and sit down and have a different dining experience, um, maybe without the TVs and that kind of thing, maybe a little more chill environment, and but higher quality food than you're than you're going to get at, at at some of the um, other fast casual restaurants. Much more chef driven, culinary focused dishes without being too high end, that where people can kind of find a nice price point, a nice nice medium in there. The food truck is just ever evolving, it's fun, we do different things, like I said, one day could be totally separate from the next day at any given event. We like to switch it up based on you know, the type of event, the type of customers that are going to be there, where it's at, the time of the year, utilizing you know, the ingredients that make sense during that season, um, and then we will be planning on doing the same thing at the restaurant as well. Thank you. I mean, I love getting the, when the customer gets served, and this happens a lot at the food truck and at the restaurant, when the, they get served and they eat their food and they specifically come back up to tell me and or the staff how great their food was. I mean, especially when we roll out new menu items and they come back and they're like, that needs to be on the menu every day. Um, it's that one and 1A is just when I get to dedicate myself to creating new recipes. Obviously that's kind of where this whole thing spurned from, right? It's just love working with food. So when I get the time, especially the quiet time in the morning to just start working on the next recipe, that's my happy place for sure. <laughs> I think we do a great job of offering menu items that are recognizable, but we put a nice twist on them. So, uh, 
you know, throughout the years of working with certain ingredients and different menu items, I think this is kind of a culmination of all that. And so I, I really think if people want to come up and try something, like I said, that they've seen on a menu before, like everybody's seen a club sandwich on a menu before, or like a French dip or something, but we take that extra step to go from good to great, and that's kind of our philosophy here, is, is just come in and try our food and have a great dining experience.